Namaste children. Today in this session we are going to learn about a triple point, a very special condition where all the three states will coexist. Before learning about this triple point, let us learn what is the relation between boiling point and pressure. How boiling point will change along with the pressure. When pressure increases, what happens? When pressure decreases, what happens to the boiling point? In the same manner, how freezing point will be different according to the pressure and also sublimation point will be different. If you understand these three, then triple point you can understand very well. Okay? So you can start here. First thing, elevation in boiling point. Whenever outside atmospheric pressure is one atmosphere, only that time water will start to boil by the pressure decreases. Then what happens when pressure is changed? That only we are going to see. So one atmosphere is the pressure, there 100 degrees Celsius, this much temperature is sufficient, means that much heat energy is sufficient to convert the liquid into gas. Now, let us do the same activity as the procedure just to understand and just to draw in the book. Means, at sea level means going to go near to the sea channel. At the height where the sea is there, at the same height if you are there, at the same height not level is there. At the same height if you are there, then there pressure will be one atmosphere. If you are standing at one particular height, mountain climb, or at, uh, on the top building, top floor, you are standing there, there pressure again it will be different. So, let us say that here pressure will be. Now, let us know pressure will increase or decrease along with the height. We know already that pressure will decrease whenever we go near height, pressure will decrease. So, let us say that here the pressure is 0 0.9 atmospheres. So, we have the same container, these are the two molecules are there, and here the pressure is 0 0.8 atmospheres. The same thing what we have shown here, both that as well. 0 0.8 atmospheres pressure, if you want to convert it to 0 0.9, it is very easy compared with this condition. Compared with the first step, this becomes very easy because the difference is very less, only 0 0.1 atmosphere. So, what happens here? Boiling point will be less than 100 degrees Celsius here in this case because conversion, uh, pressure difference is very less, so easily it can be converted into gaseous state. Bring this zero 
by carrying across which to one point to another, we have to provide more and more than three dimensions. That means up to more separation we have to keep them. So here the main point will be greater than 100 degrees Celsius. Here I will change that 100 degrees Celsius will be the same. The volume or the equal to 100 degrees Celsius when the pressure is one atmosphere. Boiling point is less than 100 degrees Celsius and pressure is less than 1 atmosphere. Boiling point is greater than 100 degrees Celsius when the pressure is greater than 1 atmosphere. So what we can say here on the road from these three activities we can understand that whenever pressure increases, boiling point is also increases. So that's what we mean by this thing. Elevation in boiling point. When you are adding impurities to water, or um, let me take some uh, some substance which is able to dissolve some other solids in water, some non-volatile solute if it is dissolved in a volatile solvent, then also there will be elevation in the boiling point. To reduce that, again we have so many different different uh, situations there. But here I am talking about when pressure increases, what happens to the boiling point? So we have seen here. Elevation in the boiling point, this you understand. Now, let me go to this another one here, that is depression in freezing point. Depression in freezing point. Freezing point is the point where this water will convert into solid state. So, whatever the pressure, whatever the pressure is there in the solid, that particular pressure has to be acquired by the liquid, then only it turns into solid state. Means, but by this way you can understand that whenever the pressure increases, whenever pressure increases, freezing point is going to decrease. That means easily, uh, at very low temperature only, water will convert into solid state. At very low temperature only, water will be converted into solid state. That means, I want to say one thing, when pressure is equal to an atmosphere, outside atmosphere pressure is equal to one atmosphere, then here the melting point or the freezing point of water is 0 degree Celsius. Children remember at 0 degree Celsius, water in liquid state and solid state, both of them will coexist. Little bit increases the temperature, water will converts into liquid state. If you decrease the temperature, water converts into totally ice state. So here at 0 degree Celsius, whatever the temperature is there, we can take this 0 degree Celsius as melting point of ice, freezing point of water. So both the answers are correct. Even boiling point and then pressure point. Boiling point of water or condensation point of water. Both are same because at 100 degree Celsius, both the vapor and water will coexist. So at 0, deg 0 degree Celsius is the melting point or the freezing point of water when pressure is equal to 100. When pressure is decreasing, what happens? When pressure is decreasing, what happens here? Melting point will increase. Melting point will be greater than 0 degrees Celsius. Same like what we understood in elevation. But here, because we have to understand, because here, melting point or freezing point. Because here, 
duration. When it will convert into gaseous state? It converts into water. What does it mean? Sublimation means conversion into gaseous state, okay, but when? Condition. Outside atmospheric pressure, it creates one atmosphere, then this gaseous state also should have one atmosphere, only in that particular condition, so it will convert into gaseous state. If it is less, easily it will come. If it is more, easily it cannot convert, we have to provide more amount of temperature for that. That means from this also what we can understand. When pressure is equal to one atmosphere, then sublimation point will be having some value. We are not going to discuss what is that particular value. When pressure is less than one atmosphere, sublimation value decreases. When pressure is greater than one atmosphere, sublimation point increases. So along these equations, sublimation point will increase. Okay? Now, let me go to this. We are going to discuss about the triple point, what we have here. To understand this triple point, let me draw the map here. Completely here, x axis. On this x axis, this is a temperature and this is in degree Celsius or x axis temperature. And let me take here pressure. Pressure here on one axis and this pressure I am taking here as uh, atmosphere. Atmosphere and taking the pressure. Okay, then here, let's observe this quantity directly. Here, this is the point where we have ice and also vapor in core existence. Means this is the sublimation point. How sublimation point? Along with the pressure that is shown here. And let me take another one here. Here we are having boiling point where water and vapor, both of them will be coexist. Then, one more let me draw here. Here, this is a point known as a uh, fusion point of water or freezing point of water or melting point of ice. So this point, whatever is there, this pink color line, just for difference between these are points, I have drawn the different colors. So along this curve, along this curve, whatever is there, ice and water will be coexistence. So here let me take here this as P, okay, and this as A, and this as B, and this as C. Now here P A. P A can be called with one particular name. What is that steam line? Line. Along the steam line, you can observe that elevation in the boiling point will happen. Elevation in the boiling point will happen, that means water and vapor, both of them will be in coexistence. And whenever you take the slope of this graph, slope of this graph, we are going to take delta P by delta P, this will be positive. That means boiling point increases along with the pressure. That's what you can understand. And now if we take here, let me take here another one that is PB, PB. PB is nothing but ice line, ice water line or fusion line. Let me take it in detail. Fusion line or ice water line. Along this line, what is happening? PB. Here, delta P by delta P branches we are going to get delta P by delta P. Delta P is nothing but difference. Difference in pressure by difference in temperature is to get. We are going to get here, okay? that means uh, uh, fusion point of freeze, freezing point of water will be decreasing. We have seen already. Depression is freezing point will be there whenever pressure is increasing. Then about this is PC here, PC is here. This PC whatever is there here, this PC can be called as sublimation line or sublimation curve, sublimation point. Okay. This sublimation point is increasing along with the pressure. Since we are also delta P by delta P, 
what about the pressure? The pressure we are done with 0 0.006 atmospheres. 0 0.006 atmospheres pressure and 0 0.01 degree Celsius temperature. At this value, all the three states will coexist. So first we have to understand children about elevation in the boiling point, depression in the breathing point. After that, elevation is the sublimation point. After that only, you can draw the graph and by the graph you can understand about the treatment point.